Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Road trip movie thoughts. I'm going to start with just reading the part of the plot description here. If you're, you know, the, the, the rules of cheating. If you're in a committed relationship and you have sex with another person, it's not cheating if you're in different area codes. It's not cheating if you were too drunk to remember, because you can't remember it never actually took place. It's not cheating if you're with two people at the same time since they cancel each other out. But it's definitely cheating if you record the sex on videotape and someone by accident mails the tape to your girlfriend. Yeah, that that is about do it. I really one of my favorite aspects of this is how Ruben keeps screwing up. Like, you know, he he said the car would make it. He didn't say anything about the wheels, but it's okay because, you know, they they'll get a tow truck. It's you know they'll lose half a day at the most, and then the car blows up. Okay, change of plans. And you know he gets them into the fraternity, but they know he's not a member. I. I love every moment of the fraternity scene. I love how the very start, you know, it's, hi, hi, can I help you? Because he's like, maybe they went to the wrong place. Maybe some, you know, none of those people are a member, obviously, because, you know, all black fraternity. And, you know, the the expression on this guy's face, the, the guy who opens the door, and, you know, yeah. You know, you you can tell that there's something off. Like he's, when when Ruben's saying, you know, we're, we're I'm a member, and then you are member, huh? Okay. And then you know he reaches out his hand, and the guy's like, I want to see. Does does he actually know the greeting? And he knows it exactly. And so he's like, sure, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna roll with this. I, I want to see where this, you know. <laughs> This is gonna be fun, <laughs> and it is. And he walks in, and like, they see that it's all black people, and they're just like, you know, talking. It's like it's not like loud, but you can tell, you know, people are talking, people are having, you know, a good time, and gradually everyone looks to these four honkies who just entered, and it gets completely silent. There's not a single, like, you could hear a pin drop. And the guy who greeted them at the door is like, Ruben here is apparently a member from our Ithaca chapter. And you see, like, one of these black guys, like, uh-huh, is that so? It's like, you know, just, and, and, you know, EL is like, you know, we made a mistake. It's, it's you know, we're, we don't want to be bothers. No, hey, there's plenty of food. Just come on, sit down. And like, you know, the, the the three of them are sitting, you know, next to each other. But Kyle is like sitting between these two. I mean, this is a room. You know, there are several big, scary black guys. And he sits between two of the biggest ones, and he's just he's a little tiny, and you know he like looks around. And, uh -huh. It's just yeah. And the you know they they trick Kyle with the the clan thing, and then your your friend here is an evil bit, and now he's going to die. And you know he he wakes up and says, ah, oh, that's, that's funny. I I need a wine cooler here. Take mine. You know, and. The, you know, he, you know, he, he goes around the, the party and we see the bit where he approach, you know, he's 
he's fairly close to the stage. And they're playing Run DMC dancing, and like you know, he he grabs this this I think it's a shot glass or something, and you know he, he brings it up and and Jaws like no 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 come on, just you know you don't you you can't handle that and the the black guy's like no 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 and and Kyle brings in like, yeah <laughs> you know just kick loose have fun you know and it's the it's, yeah and and then he's you know he's got enough liquid courage so he jumps on the stage and starts dancing with them and everybody's enjoying it so so they you know they go off to the the sides of the stage and he literally has the stage now so yeah and he does some of the whitest dancing in the history of white dancing just you know white bread you know just could not be whiter and it's just it's so much fun and he's clearly having the time of his life this is finally he gets to kick loose all this pent up energy from you know all these years so yeah now I love Josh's nightmares you know they're at the very start it's like you know at first you're just you know you you've just heard that this is, you know, it's it's difficult to do a long, long distance relationship, you know, and oh yeah, and she's, she's like heading off to class, and then you know this guy's like, oh yeah, I bet you know they're like friends, and I've never, uh, you know, I never came like that before. Oh no, and you know it's like I had to take two birth control pills because that's how that works, and just. Yeah, you know, and it's like, should I come over tonight? I don't know. Right now, you know, off with the shirt and, you know, up against the tree, and he wakes up, and it's just, yeah, that's, these are the nightmares that a guy has. This is, this is how a guy thinks about his girlfriend. And it's so, so stupid and so, like, you know, we should, we should be much more mature about it now, but, we guys are insecure about stuff like that, so yeah, and it it really nicely sets up that you know he's he's worried about it, and then when he says you know I haven't heard from you for days, it's you know that has more weight because of that. And the second nightmare, I love that both of these nightmares you buy, you know, it's like you know the the best parts of like you know some some of the best parts of. Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, you, and Inception, you know, it's, it's like, no, this is, you know, this is, this is real, and suddenly, oh, it was just something you imagine, you know, and, yeah, so, the, the, yeah, moving on to the, the second nightmare, you know, she's just instantly sitting there, and these two sweet girls, you know, no, come on, we're, this should trigger. Look at all this mail, all these nice people who care about you. And it's just like again, this is like you know, it, they're they're you know, it's like a slumber party or something. It's like it's so innocent because girls are just so innocent and pure and just and you know, no, no, let's let's all watch it together and you know, puts the tape in and you know, it's like ah, oh, that's that's sweet and then you know. Amy Smart walks in frame, and you can just tell Tiffany is just, you know, it is just gradually destroying her, and, you know, out of frame, and throws up with this, like, nasty sound, like, Bleh! just, you know, it, it sounds like the freaking exorcist or something, and again, you know, that's, that's a guy in Nightmare, he's so scared of, of hurting his poor innocent sweet little girlfriend you know and yeah just spot on and I love how for most of the movie you really you expect and almost kind of hope that they get there in time they prevent it and thus he can save his girlfriend 
And then when he gets there, he finds out that he didn't need to go because the, the tape cuts to Barry mooning before much of anything, you know, incriminating comes up. And the, you know, I love the way that it, well, yeah, let's, let's start with just her, you know, she, she says almost the same thing as E.L. He says it in a bit more of a crude manner, more of a guy, you know, you know, free sex kind of thing, you know. It won't be long before, you know, at some point you're going to be 40 and you're going to have to pay for these girls. <laughs> you know, and yeah, she's talking about, you know, you're in college, we should, we should have fun as an, you know. And it's like, oh, this last week or so, you know, it, yeah, she's she's been thinking about, you know, this. And he, you know, the the tape is still in that, you know, in the in the envelope. And then he, you know, oh yeah, sure, he's he's here. It's Beth. Who's Beth? You know, and he picks it up and he leaves the tape behind. It would, it would be awkward to walk around with, you know. And he talks to her and he finds out, you know, doesn't really have an extension and you know, I I have something I need to talk to you about, but I you know, let's you know, I'll, I'll have to talk about it to you in, you know, in person, so, yeah. Okay, and, and while this is, while he's talking to her, because he's, he's like, thinking, you know, I, I, sh I should still deal with this, but, you know, yeah, it's, it's nice and she called, and, you know, it's really, you know, he's like, oh, man, I, I may actually not get to be there next semester, you know, and, while he's talking, she, you know, she notices this little pack, and, and it's so perfectly done with her just being off in the background, as she opens, ah, a tape, that's sweet, goes over, puts it in, and, and, you know, she, she's, you know, she should be smart, she should be, trying, you know, and she's like, oh, I have the sweetest boyfriend in all the land, and, you know, she keeps watching, and you know he hangs up, and he turns up. No, don't watch it. <laughs> That's just yeah, so so funny. It's it's such a good background action gag. Now, but but yeah, then afterwards, you know they do actually split up, and in spite of the real Tiffany being, you know, being in the movie so little. She's an actual character, you know, she's not something for the protagonist to just win back or protect or something. She has actual agency. She breaks up with him, and not because of the plot or, you know, anything like that, but because of real life, you know, long-distance relationships are hard. And as she says, college, you know, they have to live their lives. And it's not even a bitter breakup, they remain friends. And not only is she as bad as he is with cheating, you know, so she's not hurt by, you know, she doesn't find out that he cheated, but she might not even be hurt by finding it out. She herself cheated intentionally, and she rationalized it with that guy logic of, you know, it's not cheating when. So, yeah, that was as fantastic. Now, man, Jacob is creepy, and I mean, this guy is, you know, great both in this and such a different role in A Beautiful Mind, you know, it's, uh, I do think it would have been interesting, to, apparently Crispin Glover almost had this role, that could have been really cool as well, he certainly can be creepy, again, as seen in Charlie's Angels, I I will never be able to, you know, atone for for watching that. I really love Rhonda and Kyle together. You know, you have some of these. She's, you know, she's huge. She's tiny kind of jokes. You know, 
I, I would certainly say they, you know, she's very attractive. I, you know, and I also like that, you know, they, they're showing that, you know, you don't have to adhere to more, you know, like commonly believed, you know, expectations for body types, you know, and still be incredibly attractive. And yeah, you know, it's this opposites attract kind of thing. She's much more extroverted than he is. And, you know, she's shown to be comfortable with her sexuality and she isn't shamed for it. The, you know, and them having sex, you know, she's, she's clearly more, excuse me, yeah, she, she, she has experience, and it, you know, she, she takes him into manhood, guides him into manhood, as it were. Now, the, you know, the what happened to, you know, ending gags, not only are they really funny, but rare, they feel true. You, you believe that this is where, you know, these things would, would end up. And I love not Jessica and, and yeah, yeah, not Josh's girlfriend. Jessica Caulfield, yeah, Tiffany is her name. Jessica Caulfield, she's really funny in this, and just in general, you know, I haven't seen her in a ton of things, but she's really funny. She just, yeah, and she really pulls off this psycho, you know, jilted lover, you know, kind of situation, and, yeah, and, and, like, when Beth sees this, you know, she's like, I'm not messing with that, I don't, I don't want a, a, you know, baseball bat to the arm, I don't want to be, you know, and she's, like, dragging him by the hair, it's just, yikes, <laughs> and, I love that that whole thing, this this misunderstanding, at least in part, you know, in part it's also that Barry Manilow does not, you know, he barely knows, you know, he's pretty much never left the, you know, what's well, Ithaca, so, you know, he, he gets Boston and Austin messed up, but he also doesn't really care because he just wants to feed this snake, this mouse, you know, just so determined, just, and, and I love how that builds, you know, and, you know, are you here for the feeding? It's only mo tomorrow, but it's gonna be a bloodbath, you know, she's like, you know what, I'm, I'm good, you know, she, she's a great, like, straight man to, to, you know, berries, completely crazy, you know, the second time with, where he has the mouse in his, in his mouth, and we're like, oh, hi, <laughs> you know, and she's like, you lied to me, you know, she still manages to get that out, but, but yeah, you know, Barry is like, he, he thinks that, you know, he, he kept his promise, he didn't, you know, try to overfeed him, he didn't, he didn't cut a mouse in half and feed him both, uh, you know, on, on two separate days, he didn't start the feeding before Saturday with, you know, Saturday feeding time, you know, and he, you're about to find out what it's like to be at the bottom, the lower region of the food chain, you know, and then he's like, the snake's not doing anything, why is the snake not doing anything, and he, you know, hammers the, the side of it like it's, you know, a, a pinball machine that is not quite doing what it's supposed to, you know, it's just, and, and he keeps, you know, and he got, the, he's got the, the guitar, you know, unleash the fury, unleash the fury, eat him, Mitch, eat him, before I do, and, you know, after all of that, you know, Jacob come, comes in, and he and Beth are, like, arguing, and, you know, Barry is, like, kind of, he's, you know, he's got the, the mouse there, and, up comes the snake, it's, ah, and he swings it around, you know, and eventually it flies off and bites Jacob in, you know, the neck, 
and he falls over, and the mouse runs off, having lived another day. That's awesome. You know, just the, yeah, and then cut to Twisted Sister, I Wanna Rock. That's just awesome. Now, I really like that Beth, you know, when she finds out, she actually, you know, she didn't come up with the idea of, you know, telling, you know, Tiffany that, you know, that his boyfriend, her boyfriend cheated on her, but she, you know, she agrees that's, you know, that's what should be, he's, should he really be allowed to cheat on, you know, no, this, that's not cool, so she's gonna go and tell him, she's gonna go and set things right, you know, yeah, she really has, like, value, strong values, and the, the bit at the rest with, the, at the end, with the the bomb threat, you know, the, you know, J Josh bolts out of the, you know, school for the blind bus, school bus, and, you know, he's like, wait, what was that? And Ruben yells him back, you're gonna be fine, you know, you, you, you'll pass. And he runs in, and there's this big, you know, robot that, you know, supposed to take, you know, check for bombs, and, you know, he stands there, what, what, what is going on? And out comes this, you know, guy in a suit. Hold it right there. Is this philosophy? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. And, and, you know, we were just told 57, 57 minutes late. And then, you know, there's, you know, and he, he passes the test. And she says, you know, you weren't there in time. So I called it bomb threat. <laughs> And, yeah, you know, like he says, that's the coolest thing anyone's ever done for me. She's really, you know, yeah, she's, she's badass, you know, the, between the, the, you know, filming the sex and calling it a bomb threat and says, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, she's, she's really cool. And, yeah, the, I suppose that was about it for that. I love the, you know, the the whole bit with the, the kid, the, the post office kind of thing, you know. At first he's like, I think he's like guiding someone to a website that has spoilers for Star Wars Episode 2. I think, you know, he's like, Episode 2 spoilers backslash... And they, you know, and he's like, well, this is just a second. And they close his computer. Got some people here, and they're being very rude. I'll call you back, you know. And, you know, they're like, you know, her grandpa died on that side. Her key? Oh, I'm sorry. Can't get the mail. You don't have the key. Don't worry. Her mail will be safe here. And he opens the computer and closes. I don't think you understand this, you know. And like, you know, Kyle has been like, he's he's a new man. He smokes cigarettes. He had sex. You know, I was up all night. Having, you know, I had sex last night with a girl. Mm. And you know, goes you know, and he's now and smack. I think he broke my nose. And you know, guy jumps over the counter, off of the shirt. You know, you're a wrestler, uh huh? And you know, he grabs him. You know, grabs his crotch, and two of them have to pull him off Josh. And you know, Josh jumps over just barely because his, you know his groin hurts, and he gets the you know the the thing, and in busts Fred Ward. And he's got a gun, and he's like, you know, whoa, just, who was kidnapped? Who was kidnapped? You know, and he swings, and, and Tiffany wanted Josh, and he's like, yeah, don't, don't shoot, you know. And the, you know, and, and the, you know, there's, you know, he, he yells at, at Kyle, and he's like, you know, what about the car? It, it it was stolen. Yeah, it was it was stolen. What about the credit card? It was in the glove compartment, and that was stolen. So I love that it's not you know they stole the credit card from the glove. No, no, no. 
they stole the glove compartment. It was in the glove compartment that was stolen too. So, yeah, as as yeah, <laughs> and these were separate incidents, presumably. And the you know, yeah. So so it's like you know, you're you're coming home with me. No, and he stands up to his father, and you know. You ungrateful little and grabs him and he's like spraying the you know this, this you know fire extinguisher in him and yeah just chaos and Tiffany and Josh run off in you know the whole thing and yeah and I suppose that pretty much covers that scene in general I love Fred Ward in this you know totally psycho like in like he is in Naked Gun 3 and like that guy is intense like he's an action hero badass he he thinks that he's Liam Neeson and this and that the movie he's in is actually taken you know he is just going to great lengths to track down Kyle and run it again you know and there's you know it's I I would say that someone was raped and murdered here last night you know in in this car what makes you say that? It's just, just a feeling. No. Well, we have, you know, no signs of a struggle, no, no blood, no torn clothes or anything, and we haven't found a drop of semen yet. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> and you know, and and he walks all the way over to to console his wife. Like, yeah, you know, action hero movie bad. It's like, I'm gonna set this right. And you know he he gets to the motel where they were, you know Andy's sitting there, you know, and he's just he does not care at all in the whole yeah I, I love his retort to Ruben about you know marijuana and yeah, and you know he comes in and he has this you know photo and yeah to, you know yeah first he comes in and Andy's not responding okay. Ding grabs the bell under the table and he's still on. and you know did you see this guy man you know I don't know and, and he grabs him twists his arm and you know down against the desk I saw them there were four a few days ago get you know get get me the bill let go of my arm use the other arm you know and he grabs it awkwardly with the arm and hands it back and you know, Fred, you know, Earl's wife grabs it, and she's not even like, come on, Earl, or what are you doing? Don't do that. No, no, she just she grabs it. This is this is every day for her. This is you know, this is what you do if your son and his car go missing. Just yeah, and you know, they they get further, that, and then he shows up with a gun there at the end. It's just yeah, and he's swinging it around like. Yeah, just, and I love the the bit with, you know, milking the prostate, which, as far as I understand, is true, you know, that it's, it's, it's a sensitive area, pun intended for a lot of guys, but yeah, as far as I understand, we have a G-spot, which is, you know, back there, and, you know, he's like, you know, I, he, he, you know, he thinks he's gonna get like something really awesome because you know he, he doesn't want to just. I mean, if if he's gonna deliver a semen sample, why not have some fun while doing it? He's, you know, he wants to have sex with a girl. He doesn't want, you know, and she's this experienced woman. She's a little older, so yeah, you know, it's like, do you need? assistance and you know and she explains it to him and he's barely like he's not going to answer why is that does that sound, that sounds a little strange to me and and she's like you know this is like you know she's a doctor she or yeah it's she's going to perform a procedure on him so she's going to explain what the procedure is and he's like you know we could just talk and you know up it goes and he's like screaming and you know, and and we see Josh is like, what is going on? And you know, there's like a doctor, or, you know, someone out in the hall, and what is going on back there? You know, and yeah, it it works, and it's like, 
does that work? Oh yeah, it works. Works like a charm. <laughs> and, you know, then at the end, he's, you know, he's been going steady with this girl for a while. Kind of serious. I think she's pre-med, you know, two, two fingers. I say two? Better make it three. <laughs> and, the, you know, in general, these post gags, you have the, you know, Reuben cross, you know, cross pollination to make especially potent and untraceable weed, you know, and you know, Josh and Tiv jo Josh and Beth are still together and recording, you know, they're saying you know, they're they're making out in the library and they're recording that, you know, so yeah, and of course I love the, you know, when they're eating like breakfast. And, you know, he said, there's powdered sugar, and I really can't have too much sugar in the morning. And, you know, you know, Josh and Rumor, Josh and Rumor are like, come on, man. And and I love that, you know, Josh is like, did you see my, my notes and all my processions? All right, they were in the car. The car that blew up. Well, that's, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> Just, you know, and the guy was, and, and this is like, this is the thing, you never complain about the food you're buying. You, you never have them take it back because you know you're going to get the thing that just went on the floor or something. This is that on steroids. You know, he's like licking and, you know, he's, you know, he puts in his shorts and he's like walking awkwardly and they're like, what is going on there? And, you know, he comes back, there you go. No powdered sugar. Enjoy. And you know, because it's good. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.